Okay, today we'll be going through the various functions and options within volumes in Rhodes in Magna Office version 5. So, firstly, in the volume section within Rhodes, which is accessible by cross section on the menu bar there, if we go to strip depth, I've applied a strip depth of 150 mils between the left batter and the right batter in the screen fills design. So 150 mils of topsoil will be stripped over that particular width, or it'll be probably more than that anyway. So anyway, uh, that's what the strip depth is. The volume factors is basically if you want to apply um, a compaction factor, say, to your fill factor, and you can apply that. In this case, I've left that as blank, so it'll be solid volumes. Omit changes is in when you have a design and you may have a bridge within the part of the design. So therefore you enter in the start change and end change of where the bridge starts and ends and you can take break volume so there'll be no volumes where the bridge is. And then finally we have our compute volumes option. So getting back to our uh, cross-section view in here, in a fill situation, the fill will include what has been stripped out as far as topsoil is concerned. So the fill doesn't stop at the natural surface, which we've got displayed in here in the green line. It will be going down another 150 mils below the green line to include what's been pulled out of there as topsoil stripping. The top of the fill will be at the base of the subgrade, where the subgrade material has been applied, the pavement material. So that will be the yellow line in this particular instance. So if we go through to a cut situation, in a cut situation there, the cut will be excluding the topsoil that has been stripped from there. So once the topsoil is gone, that will be the cut material. And the cut will include the base of where the subgrade material is. So it will be going down to where the yellow line is and then back up to um, on the other side of the batter. So that explains um, how um, total cut and total fill is done when there's stripping involved. So if we now go into cross-section, click on the cross-section panel area to bring up cross-section on the menu bar, we'll select compute volumes and it comes up with this particular report. So what we have normally in a default situation is the standard volumes is the output report and it will display the actual uh, pavement volume that's included in there. You can, we've got a volumes for complete design, or you can do it by a, a chainage range. List cross sections includes the areas, the end areas, the stripping volumes, and pavement volumes. The use cross section limits is is specifically more for, um, say, road resheeting jobs, where you want to have a volume between, say, the left batter string and, say, the left edge of existing seal so that you can itemise the blocks or strips that you want to do your volumes reports in. So in this instance, we're not using that because it's a Greenfields design. So if I go OK to this particular screen here, it comes up with this volumes report. So we've got a, um, the alignment, the design surface, and the natural surface displayed in there. We've got our changes down on the left-hand column. The cut area and fill area is the end area at each section and the volume that's been extracted at each one of the between those uh, 20 meters of, of um, change range. So right down the bottom here, we've got a stripping volume, a subgrade volume, which is the pavement volume, and a total cut and total fill. In this particular design here, we've got a little bit of excess cut, so that's ideal for this particular situation. So I've closed that report. And we'll just go through the Compute Volumes routine again. And this time we'll just use multiple subgrade volumes. These are other ways you'd actually um, include uh, within the uh, multiple subgrade volumes with multiple surfaces, strata, volumes by a subgrade class, include cut and fill and cross-section listing. So in this instance, we just put the radio button on multiple subgrade volumes and then go OK. And here it displays a slightly different format 
and, and it's more sort of concise and it shows that the surface is called base, which is the subgrade material. And in here we've got our subgrade volume, which is 1,638, which equates to there, the stripping volume, the total cut and total fill with a net volume of um, slightly excess cut. So that basically covers how you go about and what the procedures are and options are within volumes.